Hi, I'm Phil, uh, Creative Director at Bristol-based advertising agency Create Health. We uh, wanted to look at ways in which we could uh, help fill the need whilst the teaching system kind of got up to speed with how they were going to help continue with education, which was really one of the big reasons behind why we started Healthy Young Minds. We wanted to, first and foremost, hear what uh, young minds thought of, of COVID-19. Um, it's a scary time. So we're interested to kind of hear the children's views on that. So obviously a brief around that and designing a superhero to try and combat COVID was, was a natural choice. Um, and also wanted to pick up on the success that the likes of Dyson have had as well um, with regards to their ventilators. We were intrigued to kind of hear what children thought Dyson should probably do next as most of what they make is quite epic. I think the, the absolute desired result was probably twofold for us. Um, firstly, we wanted to lend a hand and, and help parents do something creative with their kids. Um, STEM subjects are, are tremendously important and often we see that children drop out of those as they get a bit older um, because there is a, a, almost a perception that there's a lack of creativity which, which couldn't be further from the truth. So firstly it was about having fun and, and filling that void of not having school. I think secondly what we were also desperately trying to get is just the views and perceptions of how um, how this audience really understand what's going on. The site actually and competition has only been running for a couple of weeks. Uh, we've had hundreds of downloads and quite a few entries already, which is fantastic. Uh, there are four briefs, all very different and targeted at different age groups, etc., or interests. Um, and we're accepting entries right up until midnight on the 20th of May. Uh, we're currently forming a judging panel at the moment of experts from industry and uh, schools uh, to also then do the big judging on the 21st of May where we will uh, essentially pick our top 20 uh, favourites and then award each of those with uh, some form of e-prize.